Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Like everyone else is saying, what amazing award this is. We've received uh, several plaques and certificates over the years. I know all of us could say that, but nothing as spectacular as this. So thank you to the artists for creating something so unique. This is absolutely fabulous. Thanks to MCM for honoring me with this recognition. I am basically an accidental journalist. My passion was born of, out of education. When I was growing up in New Orleans, it was part of the segregated South. And when you don't see yourself in the narrative on TV, because there were few people who looked like me on TV, you don't dream that dream. But when opportunity opens the door, I had wise parents who said, push it back, look and see what's on the other side. And basically, that's how I left the classroom and went into television as an education reporter. And then we had the opportunity, my husband Michael, you saw in some of the pictures, to come here to Washington, D.C., his hometown. I must credit him with being my first uh, teacher in broadcast journalism, coming out of public television, going into commercial TV. I was still used to doing 20, 30 second sound bites unheard of in commercial TV. He taught me how to cut it down 10 seconds, 8 seconds, whatever. This has been an amazing, amazing journey. 37 years just at Channel 9, but many years before that and many people to thank. I have seen changes. Tommy is the king of social media. I'm still one finger pecking, whatever. But to Montgomery County, I must say thank you. It's good to be back on a stage. On Monday, I was on the Imagination stage where Montgomery serves with the county executive I felt with. His wife, Catherine, was there, and they asked me back to be the host of that. So Montgomery County was also the first place when we moved back to Washington, D.C., where we owned our first home in Bethesda. And right now, like Cherie, I'm not a resident of the county any longer, but I can see Silver Spring from my bedroom. We're on the other side of the circle in D.C., so we are close by, and I do almost everything in Montgomery County. This is an amazing night for me. Um, my name is on this. But this does not belong to me. Tommy said I could tell you what at a buddy means. Being a buddy means every ninth of the month reminding men and women of the things they need to do to practice early detection in the fight against breast cancer. Their name should be on this back. For 25 years of my 37 years at Channel 9, we've been doing Buddy Check 9, and I've met amazing women and men who've shared their stories with me, how they fought the beast that is breast cancer, with courage, with laughter, and by faith. It is because of them that you are recognizing me, and because of uh, them, I accept this award. Like Debbie, I've you've seen the different hairstyles, but the other thing that's, that's new is after 37 years, July will be Sayonara for me at Channel 9. And, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm still going to be in town, and I'm still going to be doing my charity work, and I look forward to working with many of you on some of those uh, activities that we've done before. But it's definitely time to move on, turn that alarm clock off after... 1.45 a.m. wake-up calls, now 5.45 a.m. But again, on behalf of the men and women, breast cancer survivors, those who have lost their battles, but their families who carried on for them, I accept this award in their honor, and I thank you for honoring me with this beautiful award. Thank you.